The holiday season is typically the best for wine sales, and our next guest says you don't have to buy an expensive wine to get a good one. Jennifer Simonetti Bryan is a partner at The Wine Ring, an online company where consumers taste and rate different wines. We spoke with her earlier. Jennifer, there are some great deals on wines this year. Yes, absolutely. And from some unusual places. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, here we have an Alvarino. Alvarino is Albarino, but that a lot of people know from Spain, but it's for a delicate white wine that people really like. It's a little floral, a little fresh, goes great with the seafood. So if your family is Italian, like mine do, is. Do people, do, do people eat a lot of fish and seafood over the holidays? Yeah, is well, it, over night, of a thousand, for night of a Thousand Fishes is for okay. Christmas Eve. Yeah, yeah. 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 So okay, that, that makes sense. Good one. <laughs> and that's about $11 a bottle. So okay, you're not breaking deal. the bank mm -hmm. there. And then one of the most underrated wines, I feel, in, in, in France is Beaujolais. Now, this is a crew of Beaujolais. This is the one you, you that poured I poured. A glasses, yeah, I like poured it. a couple of glasses. And this is probably, if you think of wine in terms of skim milk, whole milk, and heavy cream, mm -hmm. this is probably at the, between skim milk and whole milk. So it's kind of in that middle area, but it really is very, very high quality. When you talk about, about red, red wines and, and sort of the heavy cream, are you talking in boldness? Um, I'm talking not only in terms of boldness of flavor, I'm talking actually really about weight. Mm. Because if you can figure out, most people know they can tell the difference between heavy cream and skim milk on their palate because of the weight of it. And wine is exactly the same way. So like Cabernet Sauvignon, heavy cream. Mm -hmm. Pinot Noir, skim milk. Skim milk, mm -hmm. okay. What are people drinking these days? What people are drinking these days, um, Chardonnay, Cabernet, Sauvignon Blanc, and, and lots of New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. And they're drinking lots of Malbec as well. And we're seeing a little bit of a drop back on, in, in terms of Australian wines, unfortunately. And Shiraz, for example. And Shiraz, yeah. yeah. And why is that? Is it um, the, the grape, or is it just the taste of changing? No, I actually think it has more to do with uh, Treasury Wine and Estates. Uh, it, it has to do with just some particular companies they're not doing a, as well in the United I, States. I'm wondering, does currency uh, fluctuations uh, affect wine with a strengthening dollar, for example? Do you see, a, 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 do you see foreign wines becoming more affordable? Um, yeah, we do see some wines becoming more affordable, and right now, because... Uh, the economy is doing much better. People are drinking more wine. People are drinking more wine. Actually, it's one of those products Less. that's inelastic. You know, <laughs> right. the economy is doing bad. People are drinking, drinking. and the economy is doing maybe, well. Maybe less drink. spirits and more wine in that, that that's case. That's true. Uh, so overall, how do you see the wine, you know, uh, business for the past year? Or so is it is this an industry that tends to be relatively flat? Well, it's actually increased over the last two decades, a little by little. Even in 2012, when we had Hurricane Sandy, mm -hmm. and that's when champagne sales went down but overall wine sales went up in that so, time. Uh, and you say, see that trend continuing? Absolutely, yeah. We are the number one consuming nation of wine in the world. Are people becoming more educated? Meaning, are the better wines, um, not just the higher priced ones. Right. So you go into a wine store and you say, get me the most expensive one because it must be good. That's not an educated consumer necessarily. No, there, there is absolutely more education on wine than there ever has been. And now we also see there's like 900 apps out there about wine <laughs> and getting people to choose things and understanding wine a bit more. So now you're going to go to a bunch of parties, Christmas parties. Oh, um, yeah. You are under a lot of pressure to bring wine, good wine, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> I am the wine lady. I'm the palate cleanser of the, of the family. So People ask you all sorts of questions questions of what they the, do. you I'm always have to bring dial. your business with you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Thank you. The markets are closed on Christmas, so we will debut our Exchange Rewind program. We'll look back at the hits and misses of 2014. Let's take a look at another how the markets finished this Christmas Eve. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, that's a record to 18,030.27. S&P 500 flirting with record territory all day and finally finishing slightly in the red. I'm Andrew Schmertz. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, everyone.